this year's theme of the World Economic Forum is, quote, improve the state of the world, rethink, redesign, rebuild. How do you feel we could rethink, redesign, and rebuild our economy? Obviously, when we're looking at rethinking, redesigning, rebuilding the world economy, we're really looking primarily at recovering from the most recent financial and economic crisis, which really affected the whole world. But the other thing that we're thinking about is being able to perhaps change some of the structure of the economy so that we don't just recover from this, but that we prevent future crises. And we need to be careful about this because on the one hand, when we're rebuilding the market economy, that can really bring great advantages across the world. At the same time, we need to be careful rethinking the economy to make sure that we're not massively changing the structure of the market economy, which has benefited so many people across the world. How can we strengthen economic and social welfare, both internationally and domestically? The key benefit of doing economic reforms is to be able to bring the market economy to the world over. In that sense, we can really improve the lot of the poor as well as expand the entire global economy. I think a lot of people forget how beneficial the market economy has been for helping people get out of poverty. What new regulations can we implement in order to mitigate global economic risks and address systematic failures? Obviously, we want to mitigate risk to the extent possible. But our concern is that we want to make sure at the same time that we continue to get benefits from the economy. And we're going to have to carefully trade off risks versus benefits. So when we go forward, we want to be able to carefully think about regulations that are going to be able to prevent these risks, but at the same time not cut off the rewards. How can we ensure economic sustainability both internationally as well as domestically? Economic sustainability is difficult. Sorry, yeah. I, I almost did this better too. Yes. Okay. How can we ensure economic sustainability both internationally as well as domestically? Economic sustainability is a difficult topic to address. On the one hand, we're looking for a way to prevent future recessions, future financial crises, but at the same time, those characteristics seem to be inherent in the market economy, which brings so many benefits to the world. So when we carefully choose our regulations in order to try and enhance the private sector's role in the economy, I think that's the best way to be able to bring economic sustainability. The World Economic Forum's motto is, quote, entrepreneurship in the global public interest. How do you feel the public benefits from entrepreneurship? The public often forgets what wonderful benefits we get from entrepreneurship. These are the people that bring us new firms that create new jobs and new products that we never would have seen without their efforts. They're also the ones who bear the risks for being able to develop our economy and make it grow faster and stronger. At the same time, people look at that and they say entrepreneurs are in it for profits or for their, for their own self-benefit. And so when we want to think about entrepreneurs being able to focus on other things as well, they may be motivated in that way, but we also need to remember that the profit motive is a strong incentive to bring new goods and new jobs to our economy, which helps everyone benefit. President Obama recently proposed changes to the U.S. banking system. How do you feel this ties in with the World Economic Forum? First of all, I should mention that these are proposed changes that haven't necessarily been enacted. And one of the key aspects of the discussion at the World Economic Forum is to look for things that can be used globally so that we can have a consistent financial system across the world. At the same time, looking at President Obama's suggested changes, these are things that will hopefully strengthen the financial system while still allowing development and growth in the financial sector so that the economy can thrive. Could you please share your thoughts on President Obama's proposed changes to the U.S. banking system? President Obama's proposed changes are relatively mild compared to some calls to absolutely change the entire structure of our banking and financial system. However, we need to keep a couple of things in mind. First of all, we need to think about the speed of making these changes. We want to make them as quickly as possible in order for people to make appropriate decisions about how they're going to run their companies. However, at the same time, we also need to keep in mind that if we make these decisions too quickly, we may miss out on financial innovation that we're preventing that would have otherwise enhanced our economic growth. 